Hello my dear friends, this is Roshni. I welcome you all to our channel that is Best Notes Tutorials. I hope you all are revising all the MCQs which we have made so far. And today the class which we are going to do is extremely important. So please be ready for the session. Friends, let's begin with question number one. Here, the question is, which story is the character Brent Norton from? Your options are, option A, Rose Madder, option B, 1408, option C, The Mist, and option D, The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon. Here, your correct option is option C, The Mist. You will find the character Brent Norton in the work The Mist. Let's see the highlighters to make it clear. Brent Norton is the annoying neighbor in the Stephen King short story The Mist. This short story is about a strange mist that traps a group of townspeople in the local market supermarket. In the story, Brent Norton refuses to believe that there are any monster in the mist, but when he goes outside, he is soon killed. He is a much more sympathetic character in the film version. Question number two. Which story is the character Vic Donati from? Option A. Firestarter. Option B, LT's Theory of Pets. Option C, The Stand. Option D, Quitters, INC. Here, the character of Vic Donati is from Quitters, INC. Highlighter says, Vic Donati is a worker at Quitters, INC, in the short story of the same name. In the story, he deals with with the main character Morrison and reveals that if Morrison goes over a specified weight then the company will take one of his wife's fingers. Question number three. Which story is the character Charles Ardai from? Option A. Dumaki. Option B. Cell. Option C. Colorado Kid. And option D. The jaunt. Here, your correct answer is cell. We find the character of Charles Ardai in the story cell. Highlighter says, Charles Ardai is the headmaster of Gaten Academy in King's novel Cell. The heroes of the novel come across him during their quest to find Clayton's son, but his mind is inflated, infiltrated by the zombies and they force him to kill himself. Next question, question number four. I suffocated my infant brother when I was five years old. I capture animals and kill them, but I cannot possibly die because I am the only real human on earth. Which character in this which character is this and what book is he or she from? Here your options are Clayton Bledsdell Jr. in Blage. Option B. Buddy Reporton in Christine. Option C. Patrick Hoxtaylor in IT. Next option is Option D. Danforth Keaton in Needful Things. So here your correct option is Patrick Hotstetter IT. Here we find the character and uh, who spoke these words. Patrick Hotstetter is a mentally insane child who lives in Derry. He was introduced in Stephen King's novel IT and through an inner monologue he believes he cannot die because he is the only real human being on earth and if he died then 
so would anyone else. He learns his mistake when he is killed by Pennywise. Here, you have to remember his name, the person who killed him. Question number 5. Which story is the character Miss Sidley from? Option A. Suffer the little children. Option B. The library policeman. Option C. Here, there, be tigers. Option D. Rage. Here, correct option is option A. Suffer the little children. Miss Sidley is a teacher who discovers that her class of children have been taken over by a strange alien race. The short story Suffer the Little Children appeared in Nightmares and Dreamscapes collection and is one of my favorite Stephen King short stories. Which story is the character Bert Robson from? Option A. Cujo Option B. Dolores Claiborne Option C. Survivor type and option D children of the corn. So here your correct answer is children of the corn The character Bert Robson we find in this Story children of the corn Let's see the highlighters Bert Robson appear in the Stephen King short story children of the corn in the story he and his wife are traveling through Nebraska when they are surrounded by some psychopathic children and sacrificed to the god of the corn. The story was later adapted into a popular film of the same name. I am schizophrenic pyromaniac who caused quit quite a bang before my death. Which character is this? Option A. Donald Mervyn Albert, option B, Ace Merrill, option C, Charlie M. C. Gee, and option D, Ben Richards. So here your answer is Donna, Donald Mervyn Albert. Donald Albert is best known as Trashian Man in Stephen King's cult novel, The Stand. He was a Pyromaniac who joined Randall Flagg's team in Nevada but ruined it all when he caused an atomic bomb to go off, killing everyone in the state. Question number 8. How many Stephen King stories has Ace Merrill appeared in? Option A, 3. Option B, 2. Option C, 1. And option D, none of these. So here your answer is 3. Ace Merrill has appeared in three Stephen King stories. He appeared as the bad guy in Needful Things. He joined forces with the sinister monster Leland Gaunt. He also made appearance in The Body and Nona. Even though he is, he is referenced in The Sun Dog, I did not include it here as he does not have a speaking part. Question number 9. Which story is the character uh, Sunil from? Option A. Gerald's Game. Option B. Rose Madler. Option C. Carrie. Option D. The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon. Here your answer is option C. Here the story, the character Sunil is from Carrie. Question number 10. Which story is the character of Mr. Olin from? Option A. 1408. Option B. The Colorado Kid. Option C. The Shining. Option D. Grey Matter. So here option A that is 1408 is the correct answer. The character of Mr. Olin we find in 1408. Mr. Olin is the manager of Dolphin Hotel in Stephen King's short story 1408, he tries to warn the main character of the story, Mike Enslin, away from staying in the haunted room. In the movie adaption, 
He is portrayed as Samuel L. Jackson. Question number 11. I am a lone traveler. I answer people's prayers and always take a piece of the person I serve. Which character is this? Leland Gaunt, option B, Father Callahan, option C, Randall Flagg, and option D, George Stark. Here, your option A is correct, that is Leland Gaunt. Leland Gaunt is the main villain in the novel, Needful Things. He opens up a new shop in Castle Rock and gives people their hearts, true desires. However, the more they become fixated on their object, the more that their soul becomes the possession of Mr. Gaunt. Question number 12. The monster Pennywise the dancer clone has only been referenced in the story ID. Option A. Is it true? Option B. It's false. Here the answer is false. Pennywise has been seen in more than one Stephen King book. He was also seen in the Tommy Knocker. One of the characters visited the town of Derry during the story and witnessed a clone in a dream. However, he believed this was because he was delirious and nothing else. Pennywise has also been referenced in a number of other books including Brief Reference in The Dark Tower and Insomnia. Question number 13. Which story is the character of Steve Kemp from? Option A. Cujo. Option B. Insomnia. Option C. Bag of Bones. And Option D. The Tommy Knocker. Here option A that is Cujo is the correct answer. The character of Steve Kemp is found in Cujo. Let's see the highlighters. Steve Kemp was the former lover of Donna Trenton in Cujo who felt bitter towards her when she broke things off with him. Question number 14. Who said this? Which character is this? I worked my way up the ranks to become the sheriff of my small town. I have a passion for dolls and was turned on by my friends before my death. Which character is this? Your options are Option A. Ruth M. C. Cosland Option B. George Bannerman Option C. Middle Keaton Option D. Alan Pangborn Here option A that is Ruth MC Cosland is the correct answer. Let's go to the highlighter to make it more clear. Ruth MC Cosland is the sheriff in the small town of Haven in the Tommy Knockers. She was one of the only people who was not brainwashed by the alien race known as the Tommy Knockers and was killed by the town people for not conforming. Let's move to question number 15. In it, which two main characters die? Stan and Eddie, Mike and Richie, which is in option 2, option B, option C, Stan and Babe, and option D, Ben and Bill. Here, your correct answer is a Stan and Eddie. Stan and Eddie dies in the... Story 8 Stan kills himself right after receiving Mike's phone call, not able to deal with what was to come. Eddie dies under the city of Derry, fending off it with his inhaler. Which one of these characters from the stand doesn't die? Option A, Stu, Option B, Ralph, Option C, Nick, and Option D, Susan. Here, Option A is the correct answer, that is Stu. Stu is the character from the stand who does not die. Let's see the highlighters. Stu leaves 
through it all and uh, returns to Baldur's to be with Franny. Nick and Susan are killed by the bomb Harold and Nadine planted in the house. Ralph dies alongside Larry in Las Vegas by the dark man's hand. Question number 17. Who is the only main character in The Shining to die? Option A, Danny. Option B, Wendy. Option C, Jack. And option D, Dick. Here, option C, that is Jack, is the correct answer. Jack is still in the hotel when it explodes. He had forgotten to dump the boiler they all had. Dick gets away with Danny and Wendy at the last moment. I hope it's clear to everyone. Let's move to question number 18. Question number 18 says, asks rather, what is the name of the little boy who dies in Pet Cemetery? Here your options are option A, Danny, option B, Jake, option C, Jack and option D, Gage. Here option D is the correct answer that is Gage. Gage Creed is run over by a semi-trailer truck on the main highway. Question number 19. What was the name of the boy the gunslinger allowed to die in the gunslinger? In the story, gunslinger. Okay. Option A, Richie. Option B, Danny. Option C, Jake. And option D, Peter. So here your option C is correct. That is Jake. Jake is the name of the boy, the gunslinger allowed to die in the gunslinger. Let's see the highlighters. Roland had a choice of saving Jake or catching Walter. He allowed Jake to fall to his death. Jake said to him, it's okay, there are other worlds than these. Op question number 20, what is the name of the little boy who dies because of Kuzio? Option A, Ted. Option B, Trent. Option C, Ned. And option D, Tad. So here it is Tad who dies because of Kujo in the story Kujo. Tad is not killed by Kujo but dies because of him. He dehydrates and his mother can't bring him back. Let's move to question number 21. What was the name of the God, Gordy's older mother who died in the body? Option A, Danny. Option C, sorry, option B, David. Option C, Donald. And option D, Drew. So here option A, that is Danny, is the correct option. The answer is option A. And uh, Danny was the name of the Gordy's older mother, brother, sorry, who died in the body. Danny was killed in a car accident. Danny was killed in a car accident which threw Gordy's life into turmoil. His parents didn't notice that he was alive anymore and the only people in his life that cared for him were his friends. Question number 22. David Carver's little sister, Pi, died in which book? Option A. Desperation. Option B. The Body. Option C. The Regulators. Option D. Bed Knobs and Broomsticks. Here, option A, that is Desperation, is the correct option. The insane cop threw little, poor little Pi down the stairs at the police station after capturing her family. Question number 23. Roland dies when he finally reaches the dark tower. Is it true or false? It is false. Roland reaches the very top of the dark tower to find a door. As he walks through, he sees what is to happen and tries to pull back. He is unsuccessful and is pulled through. 
he is in the beginning of the story all over again to relieve it and fix what went wrong question number 24 carry white dies at the end of carry is it true or false this is true in the novel carry dies on the road in sue snell's arms however in the movie she dies with her mother at her house question number 22 an abusive bull of a husband who was he norman daniels option b charlie daniels option c jeff daniels and option d norman lear here an abusive bull of a husband is norman daniels Norman Daniels was a living breathing nightmare in the novel Rose Madder. By this we have completed this MCQ of day 22. We will continue with day 23. Please be with us and let us know what do you want from us. Here are the notes for your upcoming examinations. If you wish you can drop us message. You can make a make an email as well in the address which is given out here do let us know what else you require for your success thank you friends be with us friends today we are going to do day 23's mcqs and i wish you all get success in your upcoming examinations and i hope you all are revising all the videos that we are uploading for you all so likewise you have to be attentive for this video as well we are starting now with question number 1 let's begin though an icon of the romantic period his work are in some ways the least romantic of the group he favored traditional forms over new innovations he preferred satire to introspection and in english bards and scotch reviewers he ridiculed his fellow romantics as being inferior to the neoclassical poets who was he option a wordsworth option b john keats option c samuel taylor coleridge and option d lord byron so it is none other than lord byron highlighter says english bards and scotch reviewers use the popular neoclassical form of the heroic couplet in it byron calls southey the ballad monger he criticizes wordsworth's style that simple wordsworth framers of a lay who both by prospect of example shows that prose is verse and verse is merely prose and he mocks coleridge yet none in lofty numbers can surpass the bard who soars to elegies and ash so well the subject suits his noble mind he brays the laureate of the long eared kind let's move to question number 2 though she wrote during the romantic period she is usually classified as a regency writer he her works do not generally exhibit the viewpoint of the romantics indeed she has even been called anti romantic because she seemed to value sense more than sensibility who is she jane austen charlotte bronte mary shelley and mary lamb here option a that is jane austen is the correct answer in jane austen sense and sensibility she satirizes the sensibility of her age through the character of Marian who matures throughout the novel the regency begin in began in 1811 when the prince of wales began to serve and regent 
for the insane King George III. This occurred during the period of time which is generally referred to as the Romantic period. Let's move to question number three. This author perfected the historical novel, but he or she always wanted to be known as the poet. Here, your options are Jane Austen, Charles Lamb, Sir Walter Scott, and D. Mary Shelley. So here, option C, that is Walter, Sir Walter Scott is the correct answer. Let's see the highlighters to make it more clearer. This author of Waverly, Rob Roy, The Heart of Midlothian and Ivan Ho wish to be known for his poetry because at the time it was considered the more distinguished literary form. He published his ballad in three volumes called Minstrelsy of Scottish Border. Question number four. This forerunner of the Romantics regard himself as something of a prophet. He created his own mythology, which is expressed in such works as Jerusalem and the Four Jewels. Your options are option A, Robert Burns, option B, William Blake, option C, John Milton, and option D, Dante Rossetti. So here option B that is William Blake is the correct option. Blake is the best Blake is best known for his songs of innocence and of expression. Even this work possesses a prophetic tone presenting the poet as a prophet. Hear the voice of the bard who present past and future sees. Let's move to question number five. This early or pre-romantic writer is as well known for his Scottish songs as for his poetries, for his poems. Who is he? Option A, Robert Burns. Option B, Samuel Taylor Coleridge. Option C, Sir Walter Scott. And option D, William Blake. So here option A, that is Robert Burns is the correct answer. He wrote his poetry in the vernacular using Scottish dialect. His Old Lang Sing has become a popular New Year's song. Number six. We know him best as a writer of supernatural poetry, but in his own day, he was better known for his religious prose. Who is he? Option A, John Keats. Option B, William Wordsworth. Option C, Samuel Taylor Coleridge and Option D, Lord Byron. So here your answer goes with Option C, that is Samuel Taylor Coleridge. Let's see the highlighters. Coleridge's supernatural themed poems, Kubla Khan, Chistable and The Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner are often studied in schools today. His religious writings, however, are largely ignored. Yet, he is credited by some with having brought the younger generation back to the Anglican Church. Question number seven. Robert Browning criticized his romantic, this romantic for abandoning his ideals and becoming conservative becoming conservative also that he might in browning's opinion receive a reband to stick in his coat here who is he he is percy by Cicely. option b samuel taylor coleridge option c william wordsworth or option d sir walter scott here your correct answer is william wordsworth Let's see the highlighters. The riband was the poet Laureate Sip, which Wordsworth received in 1843. The quote comes from the lament, The Lost Leader, which also alludes to the traitorous act of Judas. Just for a handful of silver, he left us. 
Question number 8. This romantic writer used Elia for a pseudonym. He was unusual among the romantics in his preference for the city over the country. Who is he? Option A. William Blake. Option B. S.T. Coleridge. Option C. William Wordsworth. And option D. Charles Lamb. So here correct option goes with option D. That is Charles Lamb. Highlighter says, the essays of Elia was published in 1825. His large, sorry, his last essay of Elia in 1833. In his essays, Lamb also used a pseudonym for his sister Mary, Brigitte. Together, the two wrote a children's book called Tales from Shakespeare. Question number 9. He died of tuberculosis at the age of 25, but not before leaving an impressive body of poems, including The Autumn and Ode to Melancholy. Who is he? Samuel Taylor Coleridge, John Keats, Lord Byron or P.B. Shelley? So here your answer is John Keats. He died of tuber tuberculosis at the age of 25, but... Even at this short duration, he has given us, he has enriched us because of which we are not able to forget him. Highlighter says, despite his short life, many consider Keats to be the foremost poet of the Romantic era. Shelley eulogized the young poet in his poem, Adonias. She was a proponent of women's right to be educated. Her daughter must have received a suitable education because she, the daughter, wrote Frankenstein. Who is she? Mary Shelley, Mary Byron, Mary Lamb and Mary Wellstonecraft. Here your answer is Mary Wellstonecraft. Mary Wellstonecraft's a Vindication of the Right of Women is one of the earliest feminist works. Her daughter, Mary Wollstonecraft Godwin, became Mary Shelley upon her marriage to the poet P.B. Shelley, Percy by C. Shelley. Shelley was a good friend of Byron's and both poets met early deaths. Shelley is also well known for his Ozymandias and Odd to the West Wind and Adonias. Let's move to question number 12. Technically, he wrote during the Victorian period, but his work is considered to be a product of American Romanticism. He himself was once an idealist who spent time in utopian commune. He lost hope in the power of social reformation. However, and his Brithdell romance depicts a character so intent on reforming humanity that he does not seem to care for individual men and women. Who is he? Option A. Edgar Allan Poe. Washing Irwin. Option C. Herman Mel Melville. Option D. Nathaniel Hawthorne. Here, Nathaniel Hawthorne is the correct answer. Hawthorne describes Hollingsworth's philanthropy in gasty terms. He had taught his benevolence to pour its warm tide exclusively through one channel, so, so that there was nothing to spare for other great manifestations of love to man, nor scarcely for the nutriment of individual attachments, unless they could minister in some way to the terrible egotism which is mistook 
for an angel of God. Hathro's House of Seven Gables similarly expresses a negative view towards utopian vision, offering a more moderated optimism. Question number 13. This American romantic once said, I stand for the heart, to the dogs with the head. Who is he? Option A. Nathaniel Hawthorne, Washington Irving, Edgar Allan Poe, and Herman Menville. So here option D, that is Herman Menville, is the correct answer. He said, I stand for the heart, to the dogs with the head. Men Melville wrote this in an 1851 letter to Nathaniel Hawthorne. In his letter years, he seems to have moderated his view somewhat. His novel, Billy Bud Seller, depicts a big-hearted, innocent young man who, because of his navet, meets his doom. Question number 14. Byron wrote, and the might of the Gentile, unsmote by the sword, hath melted like snow in the glens of God. In what poem did these lines appear? Option A. On the day of destruction of Jerusalem by Titus. The destruction of Sennacherib. Option C. Harod's lament for Marian. Option D, song of soul before his last battle. Here, option B, that is the destruction of Senar Cherib, is the correct answer. Let's see the highlighters. Byron was asked by a friend to write poems that would accompany music originally used in synagogue. As a consequence, Byron produced the Hebrew Melodies, which contains the famous poem, She Walks in Beauty. Let's move to question number 15. This foundational work of Romantic Period was published by William Wordsworth and S.T. Coleridge. Which is that? Option A. English Bards and Scotch Reviewers. Option B. The Heart of Midlothian, option C, the lyrical ballads, and option D, the rhyme of the ancient mariner. Here, option C is correct, the lyrical ballads, which started romantic period in English literature. Let's see the highlighters. The lyrical ballads first appeared in anonymously in 1797. Friends, we will continue with such MCQs. Please be with us and if you require anything, just let us know. We have PDF for different courses and uh, we can provide you with the videos also on demand. So, just let us know what do you want. Thank you everyone. All the best for your examination.